I don't show again. You they watch on top the matter with your ever legist professor or Bridget. Brethren to the Lord. Make sure say we not get to not puff puff and full and all the you know eatables ready because when I start this jeans, I don't want make person tell me say I won't drink water or I won't pee. So I don't talk about now. <laughs> Anyhow, sha. Today I get two correct jeans for now. Now trust now, eh? Jeans professor in the making. Hey, <laughs> the first one about the electricity hike, while the second one about fuel scarcity. Make an only like give now. These two matter we go talk about today, they're very, very serious. I know they're happy about them at all. Eh? In fact, I know they smile with anybody. I know they smile with anybody today. But before we proceed, now, now I usual now. Mr. Producer, play me my jam, Joe. <laughs> Okay, you don't do, you don't do. Okay, back to the matter today. What thing we go talk about now? This wahala, we they happen say they don't increase money when we go pay for electricity. Hmm. They increase the thing by more than forty five percent. Chai. <laughs> anyway, the minister of power, when he named Nabba Batunde Fashola, come come on, talk say now for the. Now for better reason, he increased tariff. Say the increase go help our economy and go also help them deliver their services well. He can't talk again. Say the increase go help attract like better foreign investors. We go come invest in our economy. That one go come make electricity price reduce in the future. Say with the help of meter, people go know the amount of light where they consume and pay for only that one where they consume instead of the normal fixed price where they're going to operate on, like, you don't know which one will be which one. He gets how Ogafa Shola talk him. He say this increments now be that pig you when Nigerians must swallow. Yeah? You go fear, fear. <laughs> eh, any Russia, what I think we say this increase get both good and bad side. But the bad side too much. The bad side too much. I know what like give you, huh? The good side we say you can generate like more money where we go feel you solve other problems, you know, get plenty problem for Nigeria. So the money go help generate revenue. And as the minister talk, he go help bring investors, we go invest now economy you go you circulate money well the bad part be say people go they pay for life where they no even use the money where them they pay no even gel with the electricity where them they provide for example all the time when they don't they increase tariff this is not like the fourth time when they, they increase this tariff now all the time when they don't they increase them we never still see any improvement for electricity now if they come they lie give or say they want to increase them to provide better electricity i beg make them provide better electricity first before they increase anything, we don't want all this kind of rough play. No, they play with us like this. And if at all they won't do them like that, may them provide free meter for people when no get because you know expect people when they suffer, they try to eat like three times a day to go they buy meter again. They add more pressure to Nigerians. Uh -uh, pity us now. This increment can make the Nigerian Labour Congress and Civil Service Society them go protest nationwide. Say them no go grill for this kind of thing. How them go they pay money for darkness? Eh? Uh -huh, in a darkness, yes, they don't bring light. Say they no go allow the electricity company put pressure on top poor citizens of Nigeria head. Make with they pay for services where they know they provide. Mm -mm, it cannot happen. What's all this? By the way, they uh, they this electricity people no even follow the process where constitution talks say they must follow before they increase tariff. You know, without the increase tariff, they wake up one morning saying one increase tariff. They don't follow it. Guess one process where constitution pool say they must follow. Now, this thing can't make Nigerian Labour Congress people the other day go block government house. They do, we no go agree, yo, we no go agree. Content and say if they don't suspend this tariff hike, this tariff they don't sing, please. Say the protests go continue. It'd be like, say the Senate house hear their cry, come other neck, make them suspend the tariff where they increase. Get how my father in the laws, Deputy Senate President, E.K. Ekorumado, where does sir, take talk on. He said the people will increase this tariff. They ultra wicked and unconscious. Hey! See English. 
the man just a boss my friend anyhow you go and say our country day for life support now if they say things not too good for our economy say no go good make they come add more suffering to nigeria bam Ijiya, you know this your head is there <laughs> the other uh or guy at the top we name na dilo melaya for come out the other time talk one important point say this increment be the fourth time where they increase this thing since they privatized power now wow i will never see see any major improvement for power sector yes bless you sir you get the point there after many many neck na be the national nigerian electrical regulation commission come come on toxin alive you said they no go back down see they must increase the tariff they must increase them huh? say the senate don't get any constitutional right to tell them that one tell them they back down or maybe they know maybe they stop the hike can carry the case go court after many many court count court contact say their case no carry water may they not increase any tariff but the strong area these people get no be from here they will greed they do greed die greed die they don't follow what thing called store they still increase the team because you know most of us go notice say the volume of lights where we go pay for you like maybe you buy 5k lights you don't turn to like 3k lights now because you know you know reach the normal thing where they buy before you see our problem for this country how some people go think say they day above the door Look, like, call tell them do this one. They go do another thing. Anyway, make we not lose hope because recently you get one man with name now, Mr. Tola um, Toluani Adebi, where he be lawyer and human rights activist. We carry the matter go court to say why courts go ten neck to suspend tariff high. They no agree. Say make court punish them. He come make, say make court also make sure say them stop neck from increasing tariff money in future without increasing power supply. Shut in now. Man, they make sense. Ah, how you gonna increase money? You know they increase services. Eh? Well, courts can't hear the case. Can't talk many men in shall say before they punish anybody. They must make sure say you get some processes and due processes where them follow before they punish neck. The judge shall adjourn the case until March 15. He can't assure the man say if at the end of the day they discover say neck no follow court order and they do strong hair, say may they no worry, say them for punish them where well, where well. we still they wait patiently to see the end of this wahala. Anyway, we still get hope, no worry, you can't um. Anyway, on the other hand, we don't know about the first scarcity where they face our country now. Even the NNPC be don't promise us, say the scarcity, no go to take the thing done, they worse every day. The promises, we know they see them. Hmm? The price of fuel, they high, even upon that, the number of filling station where they open to sell fuel, no come plenty. This thing don't make transportation, they high, drop where you feel like take 200 hour drop, don't increase to like 400 because of fuel scarcity, full stuffs. The prices don't increase. Tomato, Gary, everything don't increase. Even the filling station where they sell the, uh, their, uh, where they sell uh, fuel, their prices they very high. Something where they buy fuel before eighty seven naira per liter, and now they, they sell them like one twenty. Some even they sell them one fifty. And the ones where they even money sell them the eighty five, eighty seven naira per liter, they collect like two hundred naira bribe per car. Hey, the thing don't tire everybody. They struggle too much. From people who need the fuel for their car to people who need that for gents, people who need that for their offices, eh? And they are not to they bring lights, eh? To those who need that for their businesses too. People don't they resort to black market because of queue for filling station. And that one says no even they better because black market price they very, very high. <laughs> now wow. I saw the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress with name named Ayuba Waba come come on talk say make government maintain and upgrade our refineries. Say petrol they very important for our economy because it help power our offices and businesses. And if people they enter long queue every time to buy for it, say it go reduce our manpower. Like you know now people no go to the go office and therefore it go affect our economy negatively. Say make government repair our refineries. Yes, we get materials to fix them. So we go fix up to the import. Now this thing now they make us import fuel. Say make we stop to the import fuel because the thing don't they hold us um hostage. As you can see, the God of fuel um importation is scarcity. They also talk say make government don't let people spoil the good things where they get from mine for Nigerians. Say this blast say this scarcity happen because some people, some like fuel marketers, want they sell fuel at high prices. So they know they hold and they keep the fuel one side so that it go discuss. Just yes, um, the other time NLC come out again. Contracting federal government say if federal government no find solution to this for Wahala, fast fast. Say them go tell all the workers when they sit down for house, when they no go work. 
Say they go, everybody go sit down, no go anywhere. Hey, correct, you know now. Sometimes violence they get it by first things. Eh? And then sure, Mrs. Esther Namdi Ogwe will be the managing director of petroleum products managing company. Come come on, talk to make Nigerians, no worry. See over like one thousand trucks so they carry fuel, they come, say you go day enough to end this scarcity, especially for Lagos and Abuja where they consume plenty for the day. Comes in like sixty percent of Nigeria petrol. Say the scarcity no go pass this week. Say they go monitor the trucks and make sure say they distribute fuel very well. Okay now, we don't hear you, no problem. Shall make sure say you do and fast. Because Nigerians they vex, they suffer too much, suffering not too much. Now only God go help us for Nigeria. Now notice see the heat don't they three much. Yes, sir. I even see as you can see I they sweat here. You come out outside as if you enter a fire branch. You roast you in here. It's safe, you don't even get anything for for our body again. Just they like farm because the heat don't overpower everything. On top that one, Nepal not even today bring light. When they talk say Nepal know they bring like they call increase tariff money what they pay for the Nepal what they know they bring they still increase them kerosene on top fire we still they talk say okay make we manage use our generator wait day for house put fuel everything fuel scarcity can't day <laughs> which one we go we go take eh which one come everybody come market things okay first scarcity they go market go buy food market things cost transportation cost full stop everything don't cost. We see they talk dollar and pounds till they go high. Hey, all these things on top of Nigerians' head. Federal government, I bet make you help us. This suffer head done too much, eh? On top only we poor Nigerians' head. We promise us say we we'll you know, we'll give us change, but we we'll never still see the change. We we'll promise us. Help us to help you, sir, Mr. President. Good afternoon. Help us to help you, sir. Eh? This kind of stuff I hear, if it makes some people start to do some kind of bad, bad things, like, you know, some people go going to arm robbery, 419, you know? This kind of thing will make us just, we just lose hope. I beg, help us. So I beg, make we look into this matter and find better solution for our country. Federal government, please, may I look into this matter, help us so that we feel they happy. Okay, okay, be like Sena. Yeah, I go draw the curtain because I don't talk many, many. I don't talk. I don't talk to the one. I don't vex say. Eh? Me, I just cool my temper small, eh? Till we see again. I remain your wonderful, Everly, beautiful, everything, everything, just provider, Bridget. Don't get anywhere else. See you next week.